So here we are. It's at the end of my first NBA game. Getting interviewed, and of course, whoa, green face. Uh, so I scanned my face for this, and I guess it works everywhere else in the game except for these interview things. Uh, got me looking like Shrek here. I wish it looks a little more like the Incredible Hulk, but my scan made my face look all buggy. So the other weird thing in this game is everything looks fine after a game. You look in focus, and you know this is just traditional after the end of the game cutscene. And you can start to see things start degrading pretty fast here, and all of a sudden everything's out of focus. You got Michael B. Jordan out of focus, all of a sudden I'm out of focus. The only thing that's in focus are those pants back there, and those aren't even really in that much of focus. But now I'm just in a blurry mess. Yeah, like what's up? Why why am I why am I this out of focus? It doesn't make any sense. And it just continues all the time. Here's just an end of a game thing. This guy's way out of focus, but there's was there really a, like an artistic piece of this at all? Not really and here's just another random piece where just completely everything's out of focus and uh, i don't know why they're trying to put the foreground out of focus and the background in focus doesn't make any sense at all so this was a thing where i was in a cut scene um, i went to practice and all of a sudden i got pulled out and uh, to do a little cut scene piece and here i boom right through a wall just running straight through it now i gotta you know test my vertical but I, walking through a wall seems a little more magic to me. And here we are at the end of the game. Nice blowout here. Blew out the uh, Brooklyn Nets, who are terrible to begin with. And uh, so we blew them out by 50. And of course, just boom, cheerleaders. Hi, cheerleaders right at the end of the game, just popping right out there. They just pop straight in. No transition at all. Let's take a look at that again. Three, two, one, boom. Hi, cheerleaders. How you doing? And then we go into a nice little sequence here with our cell phone. So John Wall, hey, see, I just answered the call from John Wall. And he's going to tell me, sorry? Why is he telling me sorry? I can see you're John Wall. Obviously, your picture says John Wall. Top of the phone says John Wall. Oh, it's the best point guard in the league, John Wall. Well, yeah, I know who you are. And it does this with every player. Every player that sends you a text message lets you know that, oh, hey, it's me, even though you obviously see it's them. So here we are at practice. Practice? And he's trying to throw me this ball, and i got to be on the circle, and I can't move. Every time I press forward, he's just waving for me to call the ball. And he just never throws it and never throws it, and I'm just completely glitched out at this point. I mean, for the most part, this year's 2K, the game itself doesn't have a lot of glitches. It's just all these side parts that are full of glitches and just stupid things that just don't really make sense. But at least the game plays a little bit better.